today, angels. Welcome to the Living Angels Christian Academy's Library Storytelling Program, Learning Books, Stories from the Heart. It's me again, Miss Rochelle. Today, we will have fun learning together. Are you all ready? Let's get started! Our story for today is entitled, Waldo, Tell Me About God, written by Hans Wilhelm, published by the C.R. Gibson Company. One sunny afternoon, Michael and his best friend, Waldo, were taking a walk. It's a beautiful world that God gave us, isn't it? Asked Waldo. Who is God? Asked Michael. How about you angels? Do you know who God is? Well, said Waldo, God is Father to us all. God made everything. You and me, the plants, the animals, the rocks. Did God make the sun? Asked Michael as he looked up at the sky. And the clouds? Yes, he did. And he made the moon and all the stars too. Why did he make all this for us? Asked Michael. Waldo put his arm around his friend and answered, God gave us all these gifts because he loves us. He wants you to enjoy them with him and share them with others. Isn't God's love so great, angels? He gave us all these gifts. But what if I don't want to share? What if I do nothing things? Will God stop loving me? Asked Michael. No! <laughs> laughed Waldo. God loves you even if you do naughty things. Love can never hurt you. Only by our own actions do we punish ourselves. Michael was puzzled. What do you mean? He asked. Watch! said Waldo as he picked up Michael's toy boomerang which was lying in the grass. What happens when I throw it? What do you think will happen, angels? Let's find out. It's coming back! cried Michael. Duck! Waldo! The two friends ran as fast as they could. Wow, that was close, said Michael as the boomerang whisked by. See what I mean, Michael? Our actions can be just like a boomerang. So can our thoughts and words. The hurt and pain that we give to others come back to us sooner or later. See, angels? That's what happens when we do not things against others. We also hurt ourselves. But if I've made a mistake, isn't there anything I can do about it? God will help you, replied Waldo. You can turn to him for help. How? asked Michael. When you are truly sorry for what you did wrong, you must ask for forgiveness 
and try very hard not to do it again. Then God may take your pain away and fill you with His love. God's love is really amazing. It can take our pain away. Michael and Waldo stopped to sit on a grassy spot at the top of the hill. They could see the beautiful valley all around them. God's love is in me? Michael asked. God sends His love to make you strong and to help you. It is His love that keeps everything and everyone alive. Nothing can exist without God's love. And through His love, God is always with us wherever we are, said Waldo as he flung out his arms. He's in everything we see, the flowers, the stars, the sky. God is even in you and me. Listen, whispered Waldo. Can you hear God's love in the bird song? Michael was very, very quiet. He wasn't sure. Look at these flowers, Michael. Can you smell God's love? Michael sneezed deeply, but he still wasn't sure. While Waldo and Michael were smelling the flowers, a family of rabbits hopped over to join them. Waldo picked up a little rabbit. Can't you feel God's love, Michael? Michael stroked the rabbit's soft pink ear. He was beginning to understand. Michael and Waldo stopped to rest under a tree laden with fat red cherries. They helped themselves. Mm. Even the food we eat is a gift from God, said Waldo. God's love nourishes you like good food does. We can really see God's love everywhere. Do you agree, angels? Michael was thoughtful for a moment. I can see and feel and smell and hear God's love. He is all around me. He must love me very much. He does, said Waldo. And until now, you've seen only a tiny part of his power and love but he wants you to know him even better how ask michael by loving him more than anything or anyone else you mean even more than i love you oh yes much, much more, said Waldo with a smile as he lifted Michael onto his shoulders. That will be hard to do, cried Michael. No, it won't, replied Waldo. Through his love, God also lives in you and me. He is in everything. So when you love him in a flower, in an animal, in a rock, in a friend, and even in a beautiful sunset, then it becomes so easy. Michael was very quiet on the walk home. He had a lot to think about. That evening, as Waldo helped Michael get ready for bed, the two friends 
stopped some more. Do you know what God's best gift is? Asked Michael as Waldo tucked the blanket under his chin. What? You, said Michael sleepily. My friend. When we love each other, we are very close to God. Aren't we, Michael? Truly, when we show love and care to each other and towards the things that God created, God's love is manifested through us. But angels, do you know what the greatest love of all is? It is written in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. God's love for us is so great that even if we do naughty things sometimes, He still gave His only Son for us to be saved and to live with Him forever. And that is our story for today, angels. I hope that you learned something today. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Goodbye!